Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We do have some Terra Luna Classic updates breaking. Luna Classic staking is live and that's the big part of it. Be sure to smash that like button. Luna Classic holders, please reconsider redelegating the following validators. Um, one of the favorite Terra Le Rebels dev actually made an, a huge announcement. I'm going to call out a few validators that really helped out and not been getting enough love. Luna Station 88 really pushed the chain upgrade. And finally, this is the moment we have been waiting for. Not only is Binance supporting Terra Luna Classic, uh, there's a lot of other exchanges that are going to be supporting Terra Luna Classic. A lot of validators, I didn't know it would go through. A lot of people have been saying, if this doesn't, you know, uh, happen, we are going to be in a big, big trouble, right? If we don't get the delegation, the staking out there, because you cannot update without delegation. And it did. It, it climbed 20% in a day. Um, and there's going to be a lot more, more things happening in the future for Terra Luna Classic. Lots of great things happening. Um, after the delegators are actually live, that's the big factor in this. Luna Classic staking being live. I think a lot of people are really, really excited to see where Terra Luna Classic will go next. Um, Luna Classic doesn't know what a bear market is. Over 3 billion burned, over 138 billion staked. Um, and Luna Classic is actually regaining strength. You know, more and more is being staked, which is a huge thing, but also more and more is being burned. Now, 0.04% of total supply is being burned, but after we get the upgrade in, which could be later this year, uh, Terra Luna Classic could literally reach a few dollars um, or at least one dollar. I know a lot of people are hoping for one dollar. I, I, I think it will reach one cent pretty much faster than anything else, but that, that big factor is... Uh, Terra Luna Classic network chain available like on a log scale. The second increase in demand in November 2021 created a situation where Luna could not sustain it. They already could have covered it pre-November. So you can see kind of here what exactly is going on. But people are going to be staking Terra Luna. They're coming back to the community and they're, they're coming stronger. Simply put, they're coming stronger. They're coming faster. Um, and the exchanges are noticing it. Uh, like KuCoin uh, that says it's People's Exchange. KuCoin will support the Luna Classic upgrade. These are already the two biggest exchanges, tier one, uh, that are going to support Terra Luna. And that's the big factor. Luna Classic, Terra Luna um, are both going to be out there and they're going to be supporting the people like we deserve. They're going to be supporting the delegations. Um, and that's exactly what we wanted to see. We wanted to see Terra Luna Classic thrive and survive, go up. And that's exactly how it's going to be. It's going to go up. It just needs time to recover. And after now we have staking, after staking, we can finally work at Terra Luna Classic, which is going to make that big difference for everyone that has been participating in Terra Luna. Uh, delegation is taking to be available August 26th, Luna Classic. Um, so all of these big factors have been changing. Um, and this means we're one step closer to making Terra Classic count. Um, it's already a bigger market cap than Terra Luna, which is a huge thing. Like, look at this. Not fully the Luna market cap. But overall, like the volume is not as strong yet. But the market cap, the normal market cap, 570 billion versus 200 billion is a big difference. That is just crazy to me. That is insane. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace everyone.